first long journey down into Mexico. We got Chase Summer down. It's chilly out here. Let's go watch some movies. It's cold outside. Morning, everybody. So we're getting ready to leave on our trip here. And uh, last couple things we gotta do is gotta change the oil. So the diffs, they all have fresh oil. I already did the hub service on it um, a couple days ago. Regreased all the bearings and changed the CTIS seals. And that's all fresh um, and ready to go. I highly recommend you do it as soon as possible before the grease um, in the bearings did not look good at all. It looked old and dried up. I highly recommend that. But yeah, we're gonna do the oil change right now and then we should be ready to go for our trip. Nevertheless, let's start actually doing some work. Okay. So judging by the color of the oil, it was still good. What I did for our last trip was, since the oil was new, it was still translucent, I just changed the filter, because cat filters aren't that much money. I'm gonna change the filter again. The advanced high efficiency. I lubed up this, the oil was 99 Canadian pesos. So, you know, not too bad. Uh, how Kitty Pillar wants to do this is they want it tight and then one whole turn around. Or tight as in like when it when the seal reaches the top. There we go. So we bought a Starlink Gen 3. It's probably been out for a month and a half or so. Um, maybe two months in Canada. So I also picked up this mount and we're gonna screw it up here. I have these cables, which is a Cat 5E ran to the roof. I just have to crimp RJ45 connectors on there. And uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm 99% sure that'll work. Okay, we got it wired up. Let's go to the bottom. So it appears like it is powering on, so I'm just gonna clean up the wiring and then go from there. Wow! So guys, end result, Cat 5E works. Obviously use outdoor rated cable. So yeah, with this cable, um, I just did a speed test, 330 down and 20.1 up. So obviously for uploading videos, it's not great but for download works for us so there's your answer if you were looking for it it's quite simple to do just make sure you pre-wire your truck so after two years of building we're setting off on our first long journey um, we are heading down to the states and hopefully down into mexico in, into Baja, Mexico, um, and we're hoping to be back April 1st, around there, but we can't come back any earlier because we've rented the house up. So, nevertheless, let's get on our travels.
So it looks like Canada. But we're in America. crazy we just went to Walmart over here and I'm just blown away like groceries in Canada are so expensive compared to here like something that we got like we got like a bunch of meat snacks um, bread it's so expensive in Canada we would have probably paid two hundred dollars here we pay around ninety dollars eight hundred thirty Canadian dollars which if you do that week in week out that's a lot of money. That looks retarded. <laughs> how fast the scenery has changed like we went from our region which has trees then the Soyuz region which has less trees and here there's no tree in sight it almost looks like the desert and uh, we're back to the wind now so one thing I noticed there's not a lot of lakes around here like we have we could have probably crossed some sort of pond by now like five times but there's nothing here but we found a place that we'll probably stay for two days or so just to relax. Welcome to Alberta, where you can see your dog run for 10 miles, maybe more, maybe like three days. After driving pretty much every day, we're gonna have some of this food and uh, then we're just gonna relax for the night now that we got Starlink up and uh, just watch some movies or a show or something like that and just relax for the evening. It's been quite the hassle getting across the border and all that, but yeah, we're here now, so it'll be great. Morning everybody, had a nice rest out here. It's pretty nice view actually. Uh, last night was pretty cold and this morning hasn't changed. So check this guy, it's a pretty sweet look. It's like canyons back there, over there. It's pretty nice. The water is crystal clear. I'm sure it's a sweet spot in the summertime to be swimming, fishing, all that stuff. So super clear, Okanagan lakes. Um, or BC lakes altogether. We have very clean lakes, of course. Sitting in a nice spot. Had a gorgeous sunrise this morning. Yeah, we're gonna head on down because essentially what we don't want to do is catch that cold all the way down um, to where it's warm right now. So we're gonna make our way down. Um, there's some caves that we're gonna go check out. So we'll catch you guys up there. Um, should be pretty sweet and uh, yeah, last night we got crazy wind. Hopefully we don't have wind today because driving in the wind, it's terrible because of how loud 
it is inside of the truck um, just from wind. Um, we probably had like 40 kilometer gusts and yeah, you, you can feel that truck swaying while you're driving. It's just kind of teeter-tottering. It's not fun. It's noisy. So let's hope today is going to be a better drive. So we're just going to quickly do a quick pre-trip, check the engine oil, make sure nothing's leaking, make sure nothing is loose. Something you should do no matter what. If your truck is 30 years old or if your truck is two months old, you should be doing this. Um, new trucks aren't perfect. You, you're not exempt from this. It's just a truck. I'm sure that's fine too. is right on perfect it's like a slight bit above but that's that's all gonna go um, it's been sitting overnight so typically you're gonna check that after it's ran for a few minutes and then you let it sit but yeah that's good for tonight. Nap right here. We got a big cave here. House is down there. Pretty sp spectacular views over here. It's like super weird. It's like it almost appears coated with something, but it's just raw. Nice little walk to stretch our legs. Pretty sweet caves as well. But uh, we got Chase Summer down. It's chilly out here, so let's get on it. You may be wondering what I'm doing. I believe I turned off the hot coolant flow. Come back here. Let me check that coolant even gets here. So what's the verdict? I don't know nothing. I think I just had the coolant blocked off down there. Seems like her 
need to work now. <laughs> Fix it. Operator here. <laughs> like a mini Grand Canyon, it's pretty sweet. Should have camped over here. Okay, that's okay. So guys, today it's been drive day for a lot of the day. Um, yeah, it's just cold out here. We're uh, we're getting probably like four hours from Boise, Idaho, um, but we're gonna try to make it at least halfway through Oregon. Um, that little stretch that we're kind of going through is not much, um, but yeah, Chuck's uh, doing great. We're doing great. We're not too tired. It's, just about time for our little buddy's uh, second nap, so it's gonna be perfect because that's the easiest time to drive for us. So we got in here late. We found a five-star location. It's a truck rest stop. And we're gonna spend the night here. We tried to find some hot springs. We went there, not for us anyway, like for dinner tonight, we're gonna have some tacos. As you can tell, today was a long driving day. Um, we're running a little bit short on power. It's been pretty cloudy, but uh, we'll make it through the night, no problem. 76 degrees in here so we'll catch you guys up soon so that's gonna be a wrap for this week's video we did some exploring not that much to see in the desert um, but now we are in vegas you guys want to stick around and find out what we're doing out here make sure to subscribe comment like and share our content and uh, we got tons of exploring to do so see you next time